Hi, I'm Linda from Paper Boutique with Linda.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Silhouette Sketch pens. I'm going to show you how to make this quick and easy card and this adorable envelope using files designed by Samantha Walker. This technique works with other SVG files as well. One of my favorite things about Samantha Walker's beautiful designs, and you can see it here, is that they're so intricate. And this is her A5 Peacock Lace card and her Happy Day Phrase file. And this envelope is titled Butterfly Lace, and all of these files can be found at the Silhouette online store. Before we move to the computer and I show you um, how to use the sketch pens, I want to talk a little bit about them. I have the sketch pen starter kit from Silhouette and it sells for $19.99 and you get a variety of pens. You get regular pens. You can see here you get the neon pens. Let me make sure I'm moving them in frame here. You also get beautiful metallic pens. And all that you're going to do, and we'll talk more about this when I move to the computer, is you're going to take the blade out of your silhouette machine, uncap them, put it in just like this, and then we're going to sketch. And it's fun having all of the different colors available. Well, let's go ahead and go to the computer now. Today I'm using Windows 7 on my PC and the Silhouette Designer Edition software. I love the Designer Edition and highly recommend it, but you do not need it for this project. Well, I went ahead and opened the A5 Peacock card file from Samantha Walker, but like I said earlier, this technique will work with other Silhouette and SVG files as well. I also opened the Happy Day Sentiment from Samantha Walker. Well, the first thing we're going to do, because we want to just use the sketch pens on the inside of the card, and then we'll want to cut the outside and the dashed lines. So what we're going to do is click on the card and click ungroup. Sometimes you're going to have to ungroup more than once, and you can see that there's still areas grouped together. So I'm going to right click, and each time I've been right clicking, I'm going to go ahead and release the compound path. Next, I'm going to open the cut window, the cut style window, and we're going to select the card itself because we don't want it to cut at this point. We just want this inside to print, so I'm going to say no cut. Then I'm going to select the dash, just the dash lines, and no cut. So what we're doing now is we're just going to be cutting this, or in in our case, we're going to be using the sketch pens to sketch the inside. Well, I'll go ahead and close the cut style window, and next I'll send it to the silhouette. And let's go ahead and change the settings at this point. Now, um, you'll want to go ahead on your machine and set it at the silhouette sketch pen setting. You'll make sure that you hit the sketch pen. On the newer software, you'll have a speed of 10 that will come up and a thickness of 18. But I tried different settings, and for this particular card, I did a speed of 6 and a thickness of 10. And I, I liked it, but it, it didn't color as evenly. I had some spots that were a little lighter in color. The pens do not skip, but you know, when you're writing with a pen, you um, some areas are a little bit lighter. So then I tried speed of 10, thickness of 18. That worked a little bit better, but still not the look I wanted. So after several different experiments, I found the very best settings would be a speed of 10, a thickness of 10, and a double cut. So at this point, you're going to go and replace your blade with the sketch pen. And I'm not going to do that now, but you'll go ahead and run it through the, your machine. But the most important thing is do not unload the mat. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Okay, let's go ahead and print, or sketch it actually. Okay, I'll close this. 
And now we've sketched the inside, but we want to cut the outside. And that's the reason we didn't, um, we didn't want this line to cut, but we do now. So let's go back in to the, the cut file settings. And then I'm gonna select the inside here and we're gonna want a no cut on that. And if I click away, you can see there's a no cut. Then we're gonna want a cut edge here. And then I'll click away and I'll select the just the dash lines and we'll do cut edge or cut. So now when we go ahead and send it to the silhouette, this will, the outside will cut and this. Now remember when you do this, I'll just go ahead and send it to the silhouette. We're gonna need to change the settings. First of all, we're gonna replace the sketch pen with the blade. And then I'm gonna do a thickness of three. Oh, I can keep the speed at 10 and I should say a blade of three, sorry about that, and a thickness of 33. Go ahead and cut this out and then what you'll have is a card that is sketched in the interior. The dash lines are cut and also the outside is cut. I'll show you that in just a moment, but I also want to mention that I use the Happy Day Sentiment and I use the shadow for this card and let me just click on it again so you can see the size. I did a 3.395 by a 3.145 for the shadow and normally I would just lay it on top over here to see how it fits but it was difficult to see so I just lined it up there. And then I went ahead and cut the interior with a white and then the shadow I cut with a teal. And the next thing I did was I cut the envelope and I went through the exact same process, ungrouped it, released compound path. First, we ended up doing the sketch with this, reloaded, I didn't unload the mat at all, I put in then, I put in the blade, and then we cut the outside and the dashed lines. So it's super easy. And the fun thing about Samantha Walker spiles are they're so very intricate and they sketch beautifully. And you may need to experiment a little bit with your speed and your thickness. But once again, I found that a 10 speed, a 10 thickness, and a double cut work the best. Well, I'll go ahead and pause this and we'll get back together and I want to point out just a couple things on the envelope and the card. This is the card that we just finished making using the software and I want to point out a couple of things. I mentioned when I did this particular card, I had the speed set at 6, I had the pressure at 10. I've also experimented with the speed being at 10 and the pressure at 18. But I ended up liking the speed set at 10 and the pressure set at 10 and a double cut. Let me show you why. This one, I think you can see here, there are just places that are a little bit lighter on the card. It does, the pins work perfectly and they do not skip, but some of the time they're a little bit lighter than I would like, even adjusting the pressure and the speed. So what I did is I do a double cut and I do, once again, I do the pressure at a 10 and a speed at a 10. And I think you can see in, even by doing a double cut, which means that it just goes over the ink again, you can see you still get a very, very fine line. So I am just absolutely thrilled that I'm able to use Samantha's very intricate designs with the Silhouette sketch pens. Well, I would like to thank you for watching and please visit me at paperboutiquewithlinda.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.